The Sharp Edge on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Mazek Seeds. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin, and welcome to The Sharp Edge. I am back for another episode with Henry Prinzen, Mazix Agronomist. Sir, how is it it's going? It's going great, Bern. How about you? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. We are on a sunny day here in Port Rowan, Ontario. We're going to catch up with Justin Hebert from Hebert Farms. Tell me why is Justin on The Sharp Edge? Well, so at Mazix, we do a lot of agronomy research, right? And we've been looking in the past. It was planting depth, right? Three-inch planting is sometimes outperforming two inch planting and we always wondered why well it's probably because we're at the optimal moisture so Justin has smart depth on some of his new planner and that allows him you know some adjustments on the go it's pretty cool technology yeah. Brian. so smart depth from precision planting let's take a look at it with Justin Heber so Justin we're down here in Port Rowan Ontario can you tell us a little bit about your farming operation what you guys do here yeah, we're standing in the field that my grandfather started in. Uh, we're a family farm. It's me and my dad and my uncle and my cousin. We're cash crop with uh, a little bit of asparagus as well. And we are a precision planting dealer. We've been a dealer since January 2020, right into COVID. And uh, that's been a really fun uh, growing experience for sure. Right on, Justin. So we're here. We wanted to talk a little bit about Smart Depth. Yeah, Smart Depth uh, is a way to it counteract variability in your field. Um, we know that the optimal planting depth isn't always two inches um, and that can change from year to year and even from uh, acre to acre uh, depending on the variability in your farm. Uh, so Smart Depth is a combination of two products. So we have the Smart Firmer which is a Keaton seed firmer with a bunch of sensors on it. So it's measuring um, CC, soil organic matter, soil temperature, but the important one is soil moisture for smart depth. And as you drive across the field, if you have a sand knoll or depending on ground types, uh, tillage pass, you can have variability in soil moisture. So we can see that with the smart firmer. And then with the smart depth system, we're taking the T handle off of the back of your row unit, replacing it with a electric motor and a gearbox. And we can actually drive and change that um, depth as we're going across the field. So if you're in a low spot that's wet, you can have it at two inches. And if you're going through a sand knoll and you're really chasing that moisture, you can go down to three inches and you're going to be bushels ahead by hitting that moisture versus having it come out of the ground being two inches deep. For sure, for sure. So, you know, you're talking a little bit, where do you see the smart depth fitting, but also, you know, when we're talking variability, how do we set smart depth up to optimal performance, right? Right, so soil moisture from the smart firmer is, uh, it's shown on your 2020 monitor as a percentage. So in the settings, you're gonna set your minimum depth, your maximum depth, and you know, for corn, probably we're setting it at two inches or inch and three quarter maybe as the shallowest and down to three inches, I think you're pretty safe there and the deepest but maybe for soybeans or edible beans, that's gonna be a, a different number. And, uh, and then you're gonna set your optimal moisture percentage. So 38, 40% probably for that. And then you're gonna set a minimum moisture and a maximum moisture. And, and it's gonna chase those parameters as it's going across the field so that you can, you can have your seed come up and come out of the ground with a, a nice even stand. So this year, I mean, it's been really wet, so maybe we don't see tons, but how many rows are on the planter currently, Justin? Yeah, we're running four rows on a 16 row planter. Um, that's kind of the benefit of being a farmer dealer is we can, I like to be able to run the equipment and tell people like, this is what it did for me. This is how I was able to, to push yields, or this is something that when we ran it, I had, I had issues with or, or something that was a struggle. So we're running four rows. Um, this year, I don't think we hardly planted any ground that was fit due to excessive moisture. So I don't know if the smart depth really changed this year. It was basically at two inches or two and a quarter where I had it set and, uh, and it was more of a mudding issue. But um, other years, like last year, we had an extremely dry spring. And um, as the spring went on, we kept chasing that moisture level down. We were planting three inches at the end and um, 
we had a great example of how having the accurate soil moisture really showed up. We were planting along, we switched hybrids from a small seeded hybrid to, to one that was a really large seed. And we were just on the edge for moisture on the small seed. And because corn needs whatever percentage of its weight and moisture to germinate, the large seeded corn needed more moisture and it didn't have it. So we had to come in and replant that because we were unable to hit soil moisture. So that was a really great example of the value of planting into moisture. We talked a lot about, you know, managing variability because we're in a variable area here on soil type. What else do you guys do on your farm with your planter to manage that variability? Yeah, I guess I should say we're, we're in Port Rowan, Ontario, right on the uh, north shore of Lake Erie. Um, Norfolk County. A lot of people think of Norfolk as a uh, tobacco county with lots of sand, but along the uh, lake here, it, the sand kind of runs out and uh, the heavier ground, maybe it's not Haldeman clay, but uh, it, it does get heavy here down by the lake. So we have some fields that are a beach. We have some fields that are heavy dirt that you have to wait until the end of May every year to plant. And we have some fields where you have a little bit of both. And we've been really chasing that variability and trying to maximize our profits. Uh, we've run variable rate seeding for probably 20 years now. Um, and then three or three years ago, we went to a multi-hybrid planter with MSET on our planter. Um, I saw as we're planting across at the home farm, um, there's some sand knolls at the back where we were going 250, 300 bushel through the good spots and it was like 90 bushel on the sand knolls. And I knew if I, if I switched hybrids to something that was more drought tolerant, I could pick up 30, 40 bushels on those sand knolls. And that, you know, on, I think it was probably like between 30 and 40 acres of sand knolls, we paid for that MSET system. So that, uh, it's a lot of work. You need to really know your hybrids and you really need to know your ground. But that's where, you know, dealing with great guys like, uh, like the Mazex boys, we're able to make that work. At the end of the day, like, what do you see the future with planters? Where do you think it going? And, you know, what does your ideal planter probably look like in the future? To, to maximize your variability, I mean, we've talked already about um, variable rate seeding, which we have the V-set V-drive from Precision to do that, electric drives on the meters, um, the delta force downforce, hydraulic downforce. So we're we're changing the downforce pressure uh, every like four seconds as we go across the field on every row independently. So that way we can really maximize, um, you know, your pinch rows are getting more down pressure out on your wings, you're getting the, the proper down pressure. Um, another big one that's really been a big up and comer for precision and uh, I've been ecstatic about is furrow force. So that's the new closing system. It's a two stage closing with spike wheels up front, which really eliminate the sidewall and and a zipper wheel at the back which um, seals it up from the from the bottom up the trench and we're really eliminating air pockets and then the big benefit to that which helps with variability is we can put a load cell in there and a a controller so it has an airbag and we can vary the force on the closing system as we go across a field so if you're in a heavy bottom you and your your wheels start riding up because you're you're hitting heavy clods or dirt it's going to increase pressure and same as if you're going across a sand knoll and it starts plowing in it's going to it's going to let up air on that bag so that you can really achieve the maximum yield potential on every acre um, looking forward precision just announced their cornerstone row unit which i think is going to be a great addition to building planners and the other benefit with precision is we can retrofit so you don't have to go out and buy a brand new planner and, and start with that. If you like your row spacing and your frame, we can really do just about anything you want from there. So there you have it. Um, Henry, lots to learn from what Justin's doing here, I, especially, I guess, when it comes to variability management. He's taking it to a new level. Yeah, Burn. So Smart Depth allows us to manage even moisture, not on just a variable rate seeding capacity or a multi-hybrid capacity, but actually managing it right from the start and making sure we put that seed into the perfect moisture. So it's allowing us to get that perfect start on every square inch of that field. Yeah. And you talk about, um, you know, the clients you deal with. Um, 
there, every farmer has got variability and probably could find a fit for this type of approach and technology. For sure, Bern. It's probably not fit for everyone everywhere, but there is some really good places to use it. You know, there's those farms where we got those sand knolls, we got those clay bottoms. That's where we're going to see some big improvements on multi-depth planting, right? Like we're trying to find the perfect spot with smart depth and that's going to be seen on these variable fields. Yeah, and it really comes down to doing the best job on every acre. That's right, Burn. It's all about putting all the seeds in the right spot and getting a perfect stand. Awesome. Well, Henry, uh, another great episode of The Sharp Edge. Always appreciate you taking us some time and stopping by. Thanks, Burn. We'll see you next time. See ya.